Hello and welcome back. In this video, I am going to explain how we can prioritize events while we have multiple events on certain days. This is a very common scenario where you may have more than one event on a specific day. And while we are representing those events on the calendar, you may want to have more control over which order are they displayed on the calendar. So in this video, I'm going to explain how easy it is to do that. We're going to use the Event Calendar Maker Excel template to demonstrate this feature. Okay, so there we have it. This is our Event Calendar Maker Excel template. And now the first thing we're going to do is to create some event types. Again, event types are how we are able to color different types of events with different colors. So I'm going to have three different types of events in this example. So the first one, I'm going to call them internal events or internal meetings, let's say in a team or in an organization. And we can give a color for that one. And then the next event type is going to be client facing so or external, you may want to call it. And this time I'm going to choose, let's say, another color, purple. And then the last type of event would be a conference. So in this case, let me choose teal. So we have three different types of events and we have assigned different colors to it. Now we are going to go to the events sheet, which is where we are going to enter specific events. So let's say the first one is team meeting and this is going to be an internal type of event. And let's say this starts from January 2016 and it goes all the way through May 4th. And this is going to be happening every week on Mondays. So I select one in the MO column and there we have it. So we have created a weekly event and I'm going to, there are multiple calendar designs available for you. There are totally seven different designs, but I'm going to use the monthly with events to demonstrate this feature because this is a design where we will be able to see multiple events in a, on a single day. So right now we only have one event created. So you can see that every Monday from in from January all the way through May, you will see these events being displayed on the calendar. So now what I'm going to do is to create two more events so we can see how the overlapping of events can be handled. So the next one I'm going to say these are stakeholder update and this would be a client facing event type. And let's say this also starts from January 1st and then this one goes again through May 4th, but this happens only on second Mondays of every month. So I'm choosing one for MO, which is Monday, and that is the weekday part. The nth weekday, N should be second here, because I'm saying, give me an event for every second Monday of a month. So let's see how it just appears on the calendar. I'm going to the monthly with events, and I can see that Second Monday of January is 11th. So I see uh, an event being created. And then the second Monday of February is 8th February. So I have a stakeholder update on 8th. So this is how the calendar will create those instances for us. Now let's create one more. So the conference, I'm going to just call it conference. And this time it is going to happen, let's say February 4th to February 15th and this is going to be a daily event that happens every day between 4th and 15th and I'm going to say all weekdays are all the days are possible so I'm going to put one in all these so now let's go and see the monthly calendar for February you can see now that the conference event is actually starting from February 4th and it goes all the way through 15th. But now this is where our prioritization comes into play. So for example, on 8th of February, we have three different event instances, team meeting, stakeholder update, and the conference. But we would want to control the order in which they appear. I would want the conference to appear at the top because I can clearly see the conference is a continuous 
um, event that starts from the 4th and it goes all the way through 15th. So I want to prioritize conference as a top priority. And then let's say stakeholder update is my second priority and then team meeting is the last. So I wanna change the order in which they appear on the calendar. So now I can easily do that by going to the events and I'm going to prioritize our events. So I'm gonna give number one priority to conference, number two to stakeholder update, and last one would be the internal meetings and I'm going to the monthly with events. Now, there you go. We have the conference at the top, stakeholder update second, and the team meeting. So wherever these events are overlapping, this priority order will be followed. You can also see, for example, here conference at the top and then team meeting. As we scroll up, you'll see here on January 11th, we have stakeholder update and the team meeting. Stakeholder update goes at the top. And so you can control the order in which events appear during multi-event days. By default, the order that is followed is the order in which the events are entered in this table. So that's why team meeting originally got the highest priority and then the stakeholder update was second most important and the conference was third most. But we want to ch wanted to change that order and so you could do that by entering your own priority in the priority column. So this is very, very easy to do. If you have any questions about how you can prioritize events during multi-event days, please let me know in the comments and I'll be very happy to respond. Thank you very much for watching the video.